Where did PewDiePie's mini Ruby play buttons go? The first 50 million subscriber award in existence also came with eight smaller versions of this award. That's the bro fist. And PewDiePie said he would give these out to people that I'll give away. But they actually went missing and they've been missing for years. But someone actually showed that they own one of these and I can confirm that this is real. So here I'm going to tell you who this guy is and why he even has one. So this all started back in 2016 when PewDiePie received the Ruby play button. So this right here is the first ever 50 million award in existence. It's uh, his Brofist logo, it's red, it's a very, it was, he was the first to reach 50 million, so it was the first ever. But when he got it, he also got these little awards down here. You see there's little mini awards. So in that segment of the video, so they're just mini like versions of the main Ruby Play one. So he got eight of those, which is kind of a random number, I guess. Now midway through the video, he says something about what he's going to do with these awards. And this was again, 2016, so a long time ago. Seven. Seven of you bros, I'm gonna send out to my oldest and most active subscribers because you guys made this possible. So that's what he was supposed to do with all of them. At least that's what he said he's going to do with all of them. Just give them out to his oldest subscribers that he can find. Uh, so, but there is still an eighth one. So what happened to the eighth? I've got one more that I'll give away if you leave a comment and a message that I'll appreciate and like. Wow. And like, I don't know. Why not? Why not beg for likes? <laughs> so that's what he said he was going to do. Seven of them would go to his oldest subscribers and one of them would go to a random commenter in the comment section. But what happened to these? Because people have asked PewDiePie like, where has this gone? There was a video that he posted. Uh, let's watch this little clip. Oh, okay, so someone actually did it. A cute little, it's like the Ruby bro fist that I promised that I would give out and I didn't lose. I did not lose them at all. <laughs> I still have them very kept very safely and I still have them. Okay, I don't worry about it, but someone just made one. That's awesome. In this clip, he says he lost them, but one of them has turned up as we saw. So this is where it has turned up. On PewDiePie submission 16 days ago, someone posted uh, this guy who has one of these things and this is real guys. So let's look at this clip. It's in German, so I can't really understand, but there's a little translation here. This is the Oscar Macher. And he has all He has all verloren. Look at that! He has one! In his head! That's crazy! So he's saying PewDiePie lost all of them, but I have one, and I think it's the last one in existence. This is the brofist PewDiePie has, but just smaller, and then people are wondering where they all went. He thinks that he's the only one who has one left. Like, look at that! It's real! So this guy is not just anyone. It's not like a random person who made a copy of it. This, this I like can confirm is real. He would not make this up because if we go to his YouTube channel, it is Kappa's Worm. It's in German, sorry. So this guy is uh, Michael or Roman. So he was actually on PewDiePie's channel a long time ago, seven years ago. He was an editor for PewDiePie. Like there's clips on his YouTube channel, <laughs> just filming with PewDiePie. Like there he is in a cop car and I believe PewDiePie is in this shot. Yeah, he's right there. So he's with him. He's his editor. So he is confirmed like he knows PewDiePie directly. Uh, he even has, I think this is PewDiePie's 10 million play button because look, he has one. He got it as a gift. So back then he worked with PewDiePie a lot, especially when they rolled out play buttons and they rolled out play buttons in 2016 ish, 2015. So he got the diamond award. He is an editor for PewDiePie or at least was. So. It just makes sense that he would have this award. So of course this clip was seen on his uh, Twitch channel. So that's really cool. We solved the mystery of what happened to one of them. Now there are eight. So he did say he lost them in that clip that we saw on these on this Reddit video. He basically implied that he lost them and he doesn't know where they went. I think they got lost in a move when he moved, but it turns out this guy has one of them. So that's one of eight. So PewDiePie said seven of them would go to the, his older subscribers, which I guess, I don't know if he's one of the oldest subscribers. I don't know. And then one of them would go to a random commenter. So this guy could have been a commenter. I don't know. He didn't say it, he would choose a comment at random he would choose a nice message so he, this one could be that i don't know um but what happened to the other ones did they go missing they could be in a landfill somewhere they could be they could be anywhere so it's really cool that we know at least where one of these is in existence right there that's crazy man that's so cool so it does kind of suck that yeah these things were supposed to go out to his oldest subscribers like this guy maybe he is one i don't i don't know so at least we know where one of them ended up it's been a long running mystery that three years ago i made a video on this but now it's been solved so thank you for watching this play one video i'm so happy to see it because these are one of the rarest awards on youtube a small copy version of the first Ruby play button in existence. So that's crazy. Thank you for watching. I have more YouTube play button videos if you want to check them out in this playlist. And fly on.